going to have a quick see if I can have a quick word with uh, last year's runner-up, Mr. Adam Terry. Adam, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, mate. How are you doing? Pretty good, Adam. Thanks very much for joining us. Um, I know that some of the uh, viewers out there are going to want to hear your thoughts on the end of what was a very exciting season last year. Um, how did that work out for you? That really didn't go the way you wanted, did it? Well, the season in general was, uh, I was pretty pleased with it, to be honest. The first year in, in the Kia, and I was quite happy with how that went, but it all went down to the final race and the final three rounds, and it all went wrong on that day. It, was, uh, it just was one thing after another. I don't think anything in general was my fault that day. It's just uh, I seemed to come in contact with other drivers, and it was just a bit of a nightmare in general, really. And how soon did you know into that final? Because there were three races that day. How soon did you know? Did you think, well, oh, this isn't going my way. I'm not going to be able to do it. Well, the, I certainly was feeling the pressure because, come the last race. And uh, I think I, I can't remember exactly how it went, but uh, I ran into a bit of trouble again. And I could see that Ellis was in a position where he only had to finish to win the championship. And it turned out that that's the way it, that's the way it went. And were you aware at the time? Because we, we, we were aware of him actually disconnecting. He, he lost his connection halfway through that race and managed to somehow get it back before he went over the finish line and didn't lose a lap. But was that, was that something you were aware of during the race or did it not factor? Uh, no, I was not aware of that, to be honest, until he told me after. But, uh, you know, I wouldn't want anyone to disconnect and it decide a championship. So I'm glad that he managed to keep his connection and he deserved it overall. And a, a new drive for you uh, this time round, Adam, a new team. Uh, you're hoping to put the Dynojet Ghosts behind you this season, uh, hoping to perhaps take it this time? Well, there's a, lot, there's a lot of competitive drivers this year, and to be honest, I think uh, I'm prob my qualifying position probably reflects my talent, to be honest with you. I think, uh, I think that, to be fair, my, my sort of strength is consistency, so uh, we're going for sort of top fives, and we'll see what happens. It's a long, long season, and uh, we'll see how it goes. And thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks very much, Chris. Take care.